One timely example, the rule stating that folks who want to be picked as a presidential nominee's campaigner must not ever appear to be openly campaigning for the work, albeit he or she plainly wants it, probably very badly. If, traditionally, prospective vice presidents were asked whether or not they would really like to be so-and-so's campaigner, they might typically follow some variation on the familiar dodge. They might say how flattered and humbled they were to be mentioned before claiming that they weren't really brooding about getting selected, not in the least, not one bit. In other words, they need to be reluctant. Or a minimum of act reluctant. But that custom is fading during this strange lockdown of a veepstakes season. Prospective running mates appear more and more to be shedding their fake reluctance, or not bothering to shroud their ambition in faux nonchalance. You can call this progress, a win for the notion of claiming what you would like and advocating yourself. Credit Stacey Abrams as a trailblazer. Advertisement. Continue reading the most story. Ms. Abrams, who barely lost the Georgia governor's race in 2018 and whose name has seemingly been bandied about as a possible Democratic campaigner ever since, has repeatedly flouted this first rule of non-campaigning for the vice presidency. Yes, I might be willing to serve, Ms. Abrams said on NBC's Meet the Press, when asked whether she would be the simplest campaigner for the presumptive Democratic nominee, Joseph R. Biden Jr. She told The New Yorker that she would be willing to assist Mr. Biden, not only win an election but to control. She believes she would make an excellent campaigner, she told Elle. If I'm selected, I'm prepared and excited to serve. Unlock more free articles. Create an account or log in again, this is often not how this courtship has usually worked. Or how it still works, within the case of another candidates that Mr. Biden is supposedly considering. Senator Amy Klobuchar, as an example, Democrat of Minnesota and a former presidential candidate, seems to possess the reflexive hesitation move down pat. She would be loath to engage in hypotheticals, Ms. Klobuchar told CNN's Michael Smirkanish when he asked her the hypothetical question about whether she would have an interest in serving as Mr. Biden's campaigner. Right now, I'm focused on my state, Ms. Klobuchar assured everyone. Of course, Ms. Klobuchar undermined her sheepishness during a spasm of possible Freudian candor when she told a Biden rally crowd that she couldn't imagine a far better thanks to end her presidential campaign than to hitch the ticket to hitch Joe Biden. She promptly corrected herself, saying she meant join the campaign.